Birch. She's in her 70s, and if you want to learn from the real deal, super pow my powerful woman mentor, Beryl Bender Birch. Um, I went to Costa Rica with her, blessed to do that in January, or February for a week. Uh, Ashtanga yoga every morning with a seven year old, 70 plus year old yogi and about 30 other people. Sunrise yoga in Costa Rica is pretty darn amazing. It changed your life. So, um, those are my mentors. Uh, we're going to nod, nod to them this morning for allowing us to, allowing me to learn from them and pass on to you. So we close our eyes. We greet the day. This is the most auspicious time to practice when the sun is rising. Helps your energy rise and it helps us honor Mother Earth and be part of the rising day. So we'll take three deep breaths into the belly. Maybe it's three part breath, wherever it's going to happen for you this morning. Filling with gratitude as you breathe, exhaling it out, sharing it out. Your spine is strong. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. There's a slight smile on your face. Okay, the other teacher I learned from is Yogi Vishva, and that's a short name. And Vishva taught us um, yoga is about smiling. Happy yoga. So always smile on your face as you practice. One more deep breath. Nice long exhale. And we're going to prepare to OM. Um, you may not all be muted, and that's totally fine. Um, if you want to pause and just do a double check as we set up to OM, that's, that's cool. All right, so the back is long, the neck is long. Again, smiling. Inhale together to OM. Inhale. And we open our eyes. Namaste, everyone. Big virtual namaste to each other. All right, so we're going to roll forward and do a forward fold off the bat. Okay, sorry, I moved my water out of the way. And I want you to be mindful of how that forward fold feels for your body. You're going to have a nice deep bend in your knees. I'm going to move this over the way, out of the way too. Okay. So you're going to have a nice deep bend in your knees to facilitate this forward fold first thing in the morning. I feel low back tight. Lorene, I know you say your low back and, and uh, hips are tight in the morning. I bet you all of us are. So feet a little bit apart. Shake your head out. Support your hands onto the mat. Wiggle your knees around. Let's wiggle and bummer. And notice how much my knees are bent, okay? I'm not trying to, to straighten out here yet. You may eventually. And then just wiggle yourself down. See if you can hang a little bit more. See if you can move the toes around. If you feel, I feel a little bit stuffy this morning. So if you feel a bit stuffy, that's okay. Just notice it. A little bit challenging to breathe through my nose right now. When we come up and move through the sun salutations, that'll change, okay? Now, option here, this is an Ashtanga uh, forward fold posture, is you can step on your hands. Okay, so we're just going to just try it just for a second, and then we'll come back to it. So just step on your hands, feel that, you may have to move your rings out of the way. And then your toes, just move a little, little bit more weight on your toes. Knees are still really bent, head hanging down. Shoulders stretch a little bit more when you step on your hands. And one big breath here, inhale, abdomen expands. Exhale, let it go. Hands walk out, move up to your thighs. Lift your chest so it's, your back is flat. Push it to your thighs and lift up. Be mindful, inhale, you don't wanna get dizzy. Arms come to the ceiling. Now we can breathe, hands down to heart center. Exhale, feet step together in front of the mat. One round, sun salutation A, inhale, lift up. You can bend your knees as you forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Tuck your chin. Hands to shins. Inhale, halfway. Step back to plank. Totally fine to put your knees on the mat or do full plank to chaturanga. Exhale. You can touch the mat here. Inhale, you can do cobra. Full practice, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Everybody move your feet around. Find your spot. Five. Now, ujjayi breathing. Starting to cultivate that. Super important. Four. Heels down, toes off the mat. Woo, knees bent if that's where you're at. Two. 
steadiness in the mind, steadiness in the breath, nice and deep. Your breath will get deeper as we go through. Exhale, end it with this breath, big exhale up on the toes. Hold your breath as you step forward. Feet together, hands to shins, inhale, heart up. Maybe your legs are straight. Exhale, forward fold, tuck chin. Flat back, lift up like a reverse swan dive. Inhale, breathe until your hands touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Feet are together. Chair pose, one breath. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Abdomen to thighs, then straighten legs. Inhale to halfway, shoulders back. Plank. Nice and strong. Knees down if you want. Exhale, chaturanga, which is hovering. Feel free to touch the mat. Inhale, cobra. Or all the way to up dog, whatever your back wants to do. Exhale to down dog. Right foot to the ceiling. Inhale. Step forward with your next breath. Exhale. Pivot heel down. Next breath. Inhale. Arms up. Look up. Exhale. This is a big exhale. Touch the mat to plank. Keep exhaling. Same breath. Lower down. Okay, you work towards it. Inhale. Chest up. Exhale, down dog. Next breath, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Pivot left, right heel down. Next breath, inhale, arms up, look up. Next big long breath, plank, exhale. Keep exhaling as you come down. Huge breath, inhale, up dog, huge breath. Exhale, down dog, hold. For five, Ujjayi, four. So as we're getting active, right, you, you get deep breathing. So keep it going, but mindful, conscious, deep breathing. Back of the throat, ocean sound, pelvic floor is strong. Two, legs are strong, everybody. One, exhale. Now you're going to hold your breath, end of the exhale, up on toes, look forward, step or jump. Inhale, heart up, shoulders pulled back. Exhale, forward fold. Chair, inhale, arms up. Straighten legs, exhale, hands to sides. Hands to heart, feet step apart slightly, hands to hips. So another forward fold, if you want to bend your knees, you bend your knees. Elbows back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinge at the hip creases. Forward fold, totally fine to bend the knees. Step on your hands again. Okay, and go right as deep as you can under. So maybe it's toes right up to wrist, maybe it's toes on fingers. Maybe legs straighten. Now pull your shoulders back. Inhale up halfway. Ooh, big stretch. Exhale, pull in through your navel. Forward fold, keep rolling your shoulders back. Weight on the toes, head tucks, three, Go as deep as you can, all right? Two. Stretch out the whole back of your body. One. Now we're going to take the hands out. Be mindful. Go slow. Onto the fingertips. Little bend in the knees. Go halfway up. Maybe your hands are on your shins. That's okay. Exhale here at halfway. Hands to hip bones. Inhale, lift up. Little back bend. Exhale, standing tall, feet are together. Now we're gonna open up to triangle. So stand open to the long edge of your mat. Take your feet wide, the right foot points out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're gonna reach forward to triangle. So your back foot's aiming forward, your front knee's slightly bent. Reach. Drop your bottom hand down, top hand up. Now if you can, you straighten your front leg. Back foot has to be aiming forward because your back hip Rolls forward a bit. Five. Stretch. Four. Now, your hand, your arm may be long enough and your leg's short enough that as you come down, you're reaching down your ankle. That's okay. Palm, bottom palm faces forward. Two. One. Look down. Exhale. Inhale. Strong legs come up. Your arms are outstretched. We're just going to flip our feet so we aim the other way on our mat, okay? Now the back foot, check it, it's got to aim forward. Little bend in the front knee and we're going to reach, exhale. Hand goes down, other hand goes up, breathe, five. 
Look up. So your hips are tilting back. Four. Try not to lean your chest forward. Okay, you're lifting up. Three. The back is like it's against a wall behind you. Two. And that may mean you're to here. Okay, you're not down so far. One. Inhale, come up. Feet face the long edge of the mat. We're going to flip the feet back around again. Go a wee bit wider with your legs. Warrior two. Look forward. Over the middle finger. Now we're going to lean into it for our multiply or hand to the mat. Breathe. Front knee bends 90 degrees. Get lower. Option. Drop the top arm forward. Look to your hand. Five. Four. Woo, this is good for your body. Three. Now your top hand can even be wrapped around your back. Your bottom arm again can be on your, your thigh. Two. Back is long. One. Now in one breath, we're going to come up. Inhale. We're going to flip the legs around. And your front heel is in line with your back heel. Your back foot in this pose is uh, in line with the short edge of your mat. Get low. Warrior two. Lean into it. Forearm onto thigh or hand to the mat. Other hand to the ceiling. Now if it's tricky just to let your arm go forward, do a reverse windmill here. Five. Stretch everybody. Ooh, fascia, connective tissue, super tight in the morning. Four. Let's open it up. Three. If this is your mouse arm, this top arm, you're going to feel it too. One, now sweep the arm down, inhale, everybody come up. Whew. Now we're gonna wiggle the feet in. Step your feet together. Balance pose, you're gonna step on the left foot. We just keep on rolling. The right knee comes up. Take as much time as you need to to get here. Hips are level, okay? So I didn't hike my hip out. Hug your knee. Hand to big toe pose. Option, grab your inside of your big toe. Option, straighten your leg. So you've got knee, toe, or foot. Five, breathe. Four, whoa, push through your heel if you've got your toe. If you've got your knee, bring your knee up high. Everybody, hips are level. Three, two, one. Let the knee or the foot go out to the side. Five, hips level. Four, woo, three, breathe, don't move your eyes, two, one, come forward, hands to hips, float the foot, don't worry about how high it is, and exhale, come down, right the next breath we set up, inhale, right foot, exhale, inhale, left knee up, your eyes are super steady. Decide where you want to go here. Breathe, five. Level hips, four. You got your toe, you got your knee, you're going up as high as you can. If you've got your toe, bend your elbow out to the side. Three, two. Fifth breath, open up everybody. Five, woo, four. Smiling. Forward. Release. Float down. Wiggle the hips. Whew, I'm going to face the short edge of the mat. Ready? Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Two more standing poses. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Step back, plank. Lower down. Lift the heart. Downward dog. So we're come to warrior one, right foot up, inhale. Step forward, exhale. Warrior one, five breaths, five. Okay, take as much time as you need to to get here, to organize your feet. Four, now pelvic tilt so you don't have a huge arch in your low back. Lift up through your heart. Two. One, warrior two on this side. Five. Okay, you're low. 
four, arms are parallel, lower belly tuck, three, two, one, windmill the arms down, you're into plank, exhale, lower down, lift up, down dog, left foot up, inhale, step forward, exhale, Warrior one, hips aiming to the front of your mat. Inhale, one, five counts. Two, feel nice, strong back leg. Three. Mm, smiling. Ready, coming down, exhale. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Come back up. <laughs> Warrior two. Breathe, four. Okay, so notice my shoulders, they're right along an imaginary wall behind me. Shoulder blades are down, two, one. Now we transition, exhale, coming down. We're actually gonna come down and sit. First of all, we'll do a vinyasa, so a flow. Exhale, float down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back. Now you step, you jump, you crawl, so you're sitting with your legs out front, okay? Legs come out front, sit up on your towel, your blanket, your pillow, you're gonna move your hips a little wider, you're gonna flex your feet, push your hands into the mat so you sit up super tall. Notice my back is super straight. Pull up through pelvic floor, important to have your toes pulled towards you, your legs strong. Shoulders down, you tuck your chin in, look down to the center of the chest. Five breaths being, it's called a stick pose. Super strong and erect here. Everything, every muscle engaged. Three. Come into your, your chin to your chest so you're constricting your breathing a little bit. Stay really hot here. Okay, now we're in a forward fold. So you're going to grab your strap if you need it and you bend your knees if you want. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, forward fold, grab your feet. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, come down, flat back. So strap or grab the outside edges of your feet. Bent knees or straight legs. Three more breaths. Awesome, we're gonna release the feet. Inhale, come up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna face you, so you can stay as you are. You're gonna cross your legs. Bring your knees in really tight. Bring your feet in really tight. Okay, you're in a ball. You're gonna put your hands by your sides, and if your arms aren't, my arms are extremely long, right? So they, I'm gonna bend on my elbows. You may not, and you may wanna be on your fists. And you're just gonna lean forward and pick your bum up. So some core work. Pick three, two, one, come down. Left leg out, right leg in like tree pose. Okay, it's called Janu Shirasana. So we're gonna turn the hips, the torso, sorry, to face your straight leg a little bit. Inhale, use your strap if you want. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Hold the foot or use your strap. Inhale, halfway up and you can bend your knee. Exhale, nice long spine, come down, five breaths. Try not to round your back. Look up past your toes. Four. Ujjayi breath. The right hip is pushing down. Nice. Release. Inhale, come up. Cross ankles. Become that little ball. You're going to pitch your weight forward to pick your bum up. Five. Four, three, so I'm pushing into my feet to help me. Two, one, exhale, left, uh, right leg out, left leg in. Sit up tall, twist towards a straight leg, flex your right foot, inhale. Exhale, walk yourself down, and maybe this is it right here. Look over your toes. Maybe you've got your foot, maybe you've got your calf. Inhale and exhale. Working with a straight, long, flat back. Feel a bit of a twist. 
Push your left hip down to the mat as you stretch over. Two. One. Inhale, come up. We're just going to check our time. Okay, we're going to do a flow. Okay, so you're going to cross the ankles in. Roll forward to your knees. Step to plank. Lower down. Lift up. Down dog. Exhale. And step or jump through. Legs out front. Okay, grabbing your stuff. And do what's called Marichi Asana Pose. So the left leg is out straight. Your right leg is tucked up. Now notice, look at my foot. I've got space between my foot and my inner thigh. It's about a hand span, okay? And you want to get your foot up real tight. Now what we're going to do is come forward and try to wrap our arm behind us. So that may not happen. That's where the strap will help you. Or I'll show you an option. So your left leg is straight and flexed. Your heel's tucked up wide, you got space to get in the inside here. Inhale, right arm up. Push yourself forward. Option, bend your elbow, put your hand right here. Forward fold, here's your pose. Next option. Turn your thumb down, roll back. Woo. Grab your hands together. If the hands don't quite grab you, use your strap. This is so good for your shoulders. Now let's try to take the bend out of our back, everybody. Inhale, lift, flat back, shoulder blades down, holy smoke. Exhale, hinge at your hip creases, use your core strength to come forward, look over your second toe. Five, four, ujjayi breath. Pull in through your lower belly. Two, right big toe on the mat, left foot flexed. One, inhale, lift up. Exhale, switch sides on your breath. Hand span between foot and inner thigh. Inhale, left arm up. Use your right hand to push you forward. Get inside your knee. Okay? Option, elbow bends. Here you are. Okay? Or take your arm, wrap it behind. Bind. Okay? So your left arm is grabbing your right hand. The wrapper is the grabber. Okay? Flex your right foot. Inhale, look, I'm lifting my chest. Now I'm hinging at my hips, not rounding my back to come down. Reaching the center of my chest forward. Flex your foot, five. Flexing the foot's hard. It's gonna to wanna to tilt off to the side. It's like there's a wall right there. Including your toes on that same wall. Three, now keep coming down, pull in through your core muscles, your lower abdominals, your pelvic floor. Two, so you can get your head without rounding, forehead to shin. Two, one, awesome everybody, inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Okay, we're gonna do a twist. Left leg out, right leg over this time. Option, tuck this bottom foot underneath. Okay, hug the knee in, right hand behind you, inhale, exhale, twist. Now, option, pull the hand over top, five. We do a lot of twists, so mindfully move through this. I've explained these a lot in the classes. Just breathe, listen to your body. Imagine there's a block on your head and you're, you don't want the block, like, not a, a yoga block, right? So. You don't want the block to fall off, so you gotta keep level. Two. One, come forward, inhale. Switch the legs on your next breath, exhale. Inhale, sit up tall. Start to twist, exhale, hug the knee. Inhale, reestablish, sit up tall. Exhale, twist. Okay, so you're pulling your leg in, or you have your elbow on the outside, flagging your hand. Pulling the thigh against your body, so you feel your abdomen move on your thigh. Well done. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the legs out front. I'm gonna roll down for bridge, ready? Exhale, bend the knees, hands by 
by your sides. Okay. From here, start to lift the hips up slowly. You feel the, the glutes strengthen as you do that. Roll your shoulders under. Interlace your fingers. Weight shifts, so you're pushing on your heels so the weight can move over up onto your shoulders. Lift your chin, lift your eyes. Five. Eight. Really lift your chest here. Four. Three. Now, knees pull together a little bit. Everybody, we're tight on our hips, our hamstrings, our quads. Pull your knees together. Feel your thighs stretch. One. Exhale. So, option, one last pose here. Hands under your bum. So, you've got starfish hands. They come under your bum for support. Legs up. Okay? Just hold here five counts. Or... And everybody, I can't see you, I can't see your posture, I don't know how your neck is, so you have to be super mindful. You're pushing to your elbows, catch your low back, okay, shoulder stand. It'll rock a little side to side. Don't move your head, okay? Just have your head loosey-goosey. Push into your elbows, support your hips. Maybe, so I've got a bit of hinge on my hips here. Maybe you've got, you're straighter without a hinge. A hinge is fine. Five. Four. Look up at your toes. Three. Feet overhead. Hands to your mat. Everybody roll down. Bend your knees. Feet to the mat. So we're going to Shavasana. If you feel you want to give a hug. Roll around a bit first. Go for it. Legs out straight. So we let go of ujjayi breathing. Hands on the mat. Palms open. Long exhale. Okay, slight smile. Here we are receiving all the gifts of our practice, staying present, allowing our body to integrate all the opening and moving that we just did. Allowing gratitude to wash through your body, your cells, your mind. Coming present, feel your body on the mat. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Hands overhead, inhale. And exhale. Okay, knees come in. Rock a little side to side. This morning we're going to, I'm going to suggest rock and roll up to seated. You can totally roll to your right side to come up. Two, three times, rock and roll, rock and roll. Beautiful. Rubbing palms together, smiling, resting your hands in your eyes, resting your, your hands on your eyes, the eyes in your hands. Take a deep breath. Exhale. to heart center. Om Shanti 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 Om. Inhale.
place in you where the entire universe resides. And I honor the place in you of love, of truth, of peace, and of wisdom. And I honor the place in you where when you were in that place and I'm in that place, there's only one of us. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to your day. Thanks, everybody.